All right, so you know it is one of those nights that you probably woke up in the middle of the night when those storms came through your area, and I can be confident to say the storms came through your area because it was a huge system we saw. We and we still have it in Indiana. Mm -hmm. In fact, just about two minutes ago, the Weather Service expanded the flood warning. In fact, now they've done it again. Okay. Let me look at this real quick because this happened right on the air here, folks. So the newest flood warning, Muncie to Newcastle down to near Greensburg. There's another new uh, flood warning that would include Bloomington, Columbus, Nashville, up towards Martinsville and Shelbyville. So really, most of our viewing area is now under a flood warning as well as a flood watch and with good reason. We've had officially at the airport 1.29 inches of rain at Bloomington there at the airport uh, just west of the IU campus 2.07. But you see these areas in yellow? Those are areas that are close to three inches of rain. And you know it is still raining in many parts of central Indiana this morning, although this line is moving south. And really, in the immediate metro, including Indy, we just have some light drizzle fishers, Noblesville. But you go south and you go east, and it's a different story. Look at this heavy rain. Richmond to Brookville at the reservoir that had, if you were with us early this morning, a severe thunderstorm warning. That has passed, but the rain hasn't. Brookville over to Greensburg. The I-74 corridor went all the way into Cincinnati. And look at the I-65 corridor, Franklin to Columbus, to Seymour, down to Nashville uh, and uh, Louisville. Louisville, 37 mile per hour winds right now. And how about this? Uh, you folks watching us in Bedford, very heavy rain. And just south in Mitchell, Orleans, Paoli, over by French Lick, very heavy rain. You're talking about the potential of maybe uh, three inches of rain down there as well. It is getting cold to the north with Logansport now at 34, Indianapolis still at 41, and Shelbyville at 45. Rushville, you're at 49, but it's 50 in Bloomington. Now, as we go through the day, Yes, the rain will eventually taper off, but the temperatures are going to go down because we've got this cooler air that's moving in as the winds are going to shift directly out of the north. And so tonight, you'll really feel that. Here's the system spreading a potential of severe weather in eastern Kentucky and northern Alabama, northern Georgia tonight, but here just really feeling awfully cold. Now, as the kids are coming home from school, I'm not ruling out a stray bit of a wintry mix. In fact, let's put future track in motion. This is seven o'clock, still raining in Columbus, still raining in uh, Bedford and in Seymour. And we could get clipped by a couple of sprinkles here, but as those temperatures go down, uh, there is a chance that there is going to be a little wintry mix later on this afternoon. I don't think at this point this is going to be a big deal, but just don't be surprised if it happens. Then with this north westerly direction. Watch these clouds start to blow out. Tomorrow will be pretty. It'll also be pretty cool compared to what we've been used to. Remember, we got up to 77 degrees with a new record established Saturday. Well, temperatures are going to fall all day long today down to 28 degrees tonight. I'll do the math for you. That's a 49 degree drop from Saturday's high. 45 Tuesday and then very mild weather Wednesday and Thursday. But as the front moves through Friday, 12 degrees Saturday morning <laughs> and 21 Saturday for a high with a chance for a little snow around here. So winter's not over yet.